All right, I know I've been out for a little bit. No one really gives a shit, to be honest. Um, so I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm actually gonna. I'm thinking about changing my schedule to maybe Saturday and Sundays because uh, Monday and Tuesday uh, I go to the gym. Wednesday I'm off, but which is like today. As I'm recording, it's 1-12-2022. You can tell I'm, I'm kind of. I just woke up like two hours ago. My voice still hasn't woken up yet. I usually sound annoying. <clears throat> so this story is actually kind of crazy. It, it takes place on Black Friday. It's funny because my last story was Thanksgiving. So it's like literally a day after Thanksgiving. Well, technically it's the same day. But we just went uh, <laughs> at midnight. So this is a story of how my friend cheated on his girl. <laughs> It's not supposed to be funny, but it, I laugh at awkward things, so it's okay. <laughs> so I get done doing a six-hour shift at my job, and they gave me the biggest shift because I, I, I don't know. I think I asked for it, too. So I get done doing this six-hour shift. I was a deli clerk. Uh, I go back home to my family i play some video games i i was chilling on with the fans on thanksgiving then i get a notification from one of my friends uh they asked me to go to some mall outlet in like bumblefuck jersey you know new jersey and i asked for permission they said yeah so it wasn't just me pretty much it was it, it wasn't just me and my friend. It was pretty much like me and a group of guy, a group of friends. So first I go to my friend's house. And let's call him Tony. And, you know, we're chilling there for a minute. You know, I'm, I'm actually not kind of uh, happy about it. Because I actually dated his cousin. And his cousin lived with them. So I was not, like, fond of me just chilling there. But it's whatever. I'll tell that story later. So I'm not fond of being there. Uh, and then we discussed which car we were we were gonna be in because I had a small ass Civic. Tony sold his car actually because he wanted to get a sports car. My friend uh, Uriel he had like a Sci he had a Cyan TC which if you don't know what that is it is like a two door it's even smaller than my car. But it still has like four doors. But there's barely any space to be in it. Um, so they were like, yo, listen. Ivan has four doors. Let's just go there. You know, four door, more horse, you know. So <laughs> we all decided to fucking guap pack in my car. So it was just me. I was driving. Tony. Tony's girl. Uriel. And Tony's cousin. Oh, no, not cousin. Tony's uh, brother. Uh, <laughs> I made a mistake over here. So we drove to another friend's house, and we just wait for him. And he gets out, and he has, like, two girls with him. W one of them was his sister, and the other one was her sister's friend. And let's call him James. James, James' sister, and the other girl is Jessica. So we, we head out. We all go to, like, the, the freeway. We go to I-95. What of the fuck? And we literally fucking raced all the way to this outlet. You know, we, we all like, we were doing like a three, 30 mile an hour uh, a rolling start. And then we honked the horn three times. Beep, beep, beep. And we just, we try to race. Of course, your boy has a fucking Civic. 195, I think, no, 140 horsepower against this fucking 285 TL this man had a big ass V6 Acura TL so of course I got my ass handed to me I took that L but you know what I'm gonna tell you guys right here right now I took that L with respect the only time I actually won was during the twisties so we all we all reached this outlet we group up and right off the bat, for some reason, Uriel starts fucking flirting with Jessica. Mind you, Jessica is James's sister's f 
friend. So they're like, they're like hitting it off. They're talking. And me, I don't give a fuck, to be honest. I don't give a fuck. Uriel starts flirting with this girl. And they're hitting it off. Mind you, Uriel has a girl. But something to know about Uriel, he's the biggest hoe I have ever seen. Like, his motto is not a very good motto. <laughs> his motto is, I'm a lost puppy. If I don't get attention I'm gonna look for it and his girl wasn't giving him attention him and his girl they were fighting for some reason but I don't know why they were like on the fence with each other so he he pretty much finds out he stops talking to Jessica right like right after like 20 minutes and we're like what happened he was like yo guys guys She's my girlfriend's neighbor, bro. bro I, I, need, I, can't stop, I can't talk to her. So, this, so Uriel literally stops talking to this girl because she was his girlfriend's neighbor. Alright, so literally, us and the gang, we all head to Zoomies. And we're like looking at shit, okay? We're looking at stuff. We're, we're having a good time. And Uriel gets the attention of the, the fucking clerk at Zoomies. And she's like, hey, can you... Can I get, can I help you guys? And th mind you, this guy is like literally wearing a t-shirt and some pants in like 40 degree weather. 40 or 30, I think. And I'm like, bro, you are not, I know you're fucking cold. He was like, nah, nah, man, I'm good. Nah, man, I'm good. Like, All right, okay, cool. So this, this clerk actually gets the attention and she instantly starts to talk to, uh, to Uriel and they're like, they're hitting it off. They're they're talking. He's making her laugh. She's making him laugh. I'm there minding my business. And she's she wants to sell him a, a a hoodie because she knows this man's cold. Twelve p.m. or twelve a.m. at night, with just a t-shirt and some pants. Like I don't know why he decided to come in with some t-shirts and some pants. Then after a while, we decided to leave. So he says goodbye to that to the clerk at a uh, at Zoomies. We go into the food court. We go directly to this pizza place, and there's like a there's like a cute girl behind her. I'm not gonna lie, she was kind of cute. And Uriel, being this the the, the 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 charming dude that he was, he they just start up a conversation. And <clears throat> she was waiting for her ride. And she was like, well, what, when, while you're waiting for your ride. And he says, okay, well, while you're waiting for a ride, you can just come sit with us. You can, I could. And he fucking buys her a $1 drink. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why, but this dude was fucking, oh my God. <laughs> he was just smooth as fucking smooth rocks, bro. He buys this girl a $1 drink. And he, and she decides to like come to our seat. And sit with us. Well, at the same time, me and like Tony, we decide to make a bet. Because I said, I'm so hungry, I could eat a whole pie. He was like, bitch, you can't eat a whole pie. I know you can't eat a whole pie. Eat this whole pie right here. And I said, all right, I pay for it. They put it into the oven. They take it out. And while this is happening, while I'm eating this pizza, fucking Uriel is just spitting game to this girl. And... They decide to get up and go for a walk. While I'm doing this, I'm literally eating the crust. Cause my, cause like Tony was like, "Yo, bro, you can't eat him. You can't even eat the fucking crust." I'm like, "I eat that, bitch." So I eat the fucking crust. While Uriel and the girl from the pizza place went outside, they go into Zoomies again. And that girl, she was not fucking happy. She walks. He walks in. He was like, "Hello, how are you?" And then like right there, she gave him the. Biggest side eye ever. Dude. They're like, this man's kind of stupid. And she wasn't, like, she wasn't bad looking either. She was like a thick. So they got out of zoomies. Yada, yada, yada. And out of nowhere, she fucking kisses him. They start making out. So that girl leaves. And we decide to leave after. Uh, we took our own, you know. We all, like, completely just, like, disband. So James goes off to his, you know, way. I... In my car with my group, we go to 
Tony's house. And they're like, it's about like close to six o'clock at this point. And they're like, yo, let's go to the mall. And I'm like, nah, 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 fuck that. I'm not going to the mall. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> I didn't say that specifically, but I said, I pretty much just say, bro, I'm going home. I'm tired. Uh uh. So they go and they do their own thing. I go home and I rest. But yeah, that concludes the story for today. Um, I don't know how long it was, but not soon after, him and Uriel's girl broke up. I don't know why. What From what I found out, um, Uriel's girl just didn't like him anymore for some reason. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Aside from that, more of the story is just don't do what Uriel did, you know? Just don't cheat on your girl. That's not cool, bro. And um, do I still talk to them? Well, I don't talk to Tony anymore. I'm going to tell that story later. James, I kind of talk to. James' sister, not so much. Uh, Jessica, no, I don't talk to Jessica. I actually had... I actually had sex with Jessica's sister. <laughs> so, um, I still talk to Tony's girl once in a while. Tony's brother, not so much. I don't really, t I, that line of family, I completely cut off. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole gist, you know. <laughs> don't cheat on your girl, guys, because if you do, some other girl will kiss you. <laughs> I'm stupid, bro. Alright, guys. Love you guys. Peace.